guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a, this look right here. It's just really glowy, bronzy skin and copper smoky eye. And literally, you guys, this would look good on anyone. It's just such a universal look. I feel like anybody can pull it off. I tried to make it really easy to follow, so I hope that it is. And with that, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. It's the yellow one. And I also set them with a little bit of face powder and now we're gonna start with the eyes. I'm gonna try to make this look really, really simple, very little steps. That's what I say in the beginning, but somehow it doesn't turn out like that, but we'll try. So we're gonna be working off the Jaclyn Hill palette today. I cannot believe I've never used this thing. It is beautiful. The back has all the colors on it. This is, of course, the new packaging. And, like, oh, it looks like a cake. I don't know why. When I look at this, I think of cake. Okay, so I'm going to go into this one first. It's the fourth one on the top row. Okay, so I'm going to take that on a Smith 235, and I'm going to put this guy in to the crease and I'm not taking it too far out in fact when I get to the end I'm kind of bringing it back in usually I really wing it out but this time like when you use windshield wiper motions use windshield wiper motion and then at this part kind of bring it in okay so to darken it up a tad because that color is not really showing up on me at all. So I'm going to go into uh, this guy. Hopefully we have some better luck with that. And I'm literally doing the exact same thing. I'm putting that right into this upper crease. It helps if you have hooded eyes to keep your eyes open when you're doing this step so you know that you see all that crease work. I don't know, like these need a lot of build up they're not really showing up on me okay so to darken it up just a little bit i'm gonna go into a smaller brush and this chocolatey brown color i got that right on the tip of my brush what i'm gonna do with that is kind of pat it And then when you have it in place, do small, small circular motions. You don't want to do big motions with such a dark color because it'll go everywhere. So I'm kind of doing circular motions and then blending inwards. When you don't have a lot left, you can rock it kind of like this into the crease. So I'm taking a big fluffy brush now with a little bit of that transition color. And I'm going to use that to just blend everything out, make sure everything looks nice and pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go into Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow. This is the color Doce, I think. It's a really beautiful bronzy copper color. And I'm going to take that and put it... Ooh, it's so soft. I'm going to put it on the lid. Oh, there's a lot of foul out. Okay, so I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm going to use that to just blend that crease color into the lid color. Okay, so just to darken everything up just a little bit, I'm going to go into this dark brown color. So far, I'm not that impressed with this palette. I feel like there's... Like, no pigmentation, no matter how hard I try, which is kind of annoying. But I'm just taking that along the lash line right here, just to give it a little bit more smokiness. 
Like, do you guys see? Like, I just, I put quite a bit on my brush, but it's not translating back onto my eye. I'm just taking that and then connecting it with the outer V. Okay, so let's work on the face for a little bit. I'm going to start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I put about like two to 700 drops on my face. Okay, for foundation today, I'm going to use a favorite. These my hair is pissing me off so much. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Grab a mirror. I use this foundation a lot. It's one of my favorites. It's such a drugstore gem. So what I'm going to do, what I like to do when I apply foundation is kind of spread it on my face like this first. And I'm going to blend it in with my beauty blender. Okay, next I'm going to use the NARS Concealer in Custard. I don't think I have a... <laughs> This thing is like completely empty. Let's go in with the Milk Concealer instead. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I wanted to use the NARS one because I feel like this one is a little bit light. It's not bad, but it's a little light on me. So I'm going to take that down the nose, under my eyes, right up here on the forehead right there and then I'm gonna of course blend it out with my beauty blender I blend out the nose last because whatever you keep on your face the longest that's gonna give it time to set in that area which means when you go to blend it out and it's set it's gonna be a lot more pigmented too bad I didn't make the line on my nose straight that sucks now it's going to be set and my nose is going to be crooked. Okay, so I'm going to take a pencil brush and go into this warm brown color right here. And I am going to put that on my bottom lash line. Bring this out as far as you're comfortable with. If you want it to be really smoky, you can take it down really low. If you want it to be a little less smoky, then just keep it close tight to that lash line. You can see when I get here, I'm kind of connecting it with that top lash line. Okay, now going into one of the transition colors, you could really use any one that you want. I think I'm going to go into this guy and a little bit of this guy, but mostly this one. I'm going to use that to blend this line that we made down here just so it doesn't look as harsh as it's looking right now. I'm going back into the Super Shock eyeshadow we used, putting it on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to take that really closely in this inner part of my lash line. This will make it kind of have a connection, you know, with the top. I'm going to take this color right here, the first one in the palette, and I'm just going to lightly put this on the brow bone. Now, you could use really any color you want for the waterline. You could use a nude or a black or a brown, whatever really floats your boat. I think today I'm gonna go for a brown. I'm gonna use, this is like a bronzy brown from Urban Decay. It's one of the 24-7 Glide-Ons in the color Bourbon. So I always like melt it a little bit on my finger for, hand first and then go, go in. You know what, I think I'm going to apply the black to the waterline because the brown is just not doing it for me. Alrighty, next I am curling my lashes. 
Um, for bronzer today, I'm going to go in with this Givenchy, or Givenchy one in shade 3. It's beautiful. And with this Charlotte Tilbury brush, I'm just going to bronze the skin. I chose this bronzer because it doesn't have any glitter or anything in it, but it does give you a beautiful sheen. It's not completely matte, but it's not glitterly glitterly it's not glittery either it just gives you the perfect color and sheen to your face so as always i am going to take the bronzer around the perimeters of the face cut out the double chinny chin chin okay for blush today i want to go with like a peachy blush i have this one from anastasia um, they're all peachy. I think I want to use a mixture of this one and this one. This one's more nude and this one's a darker peach color. Be really careful. It's extremely pigmented. I always knock a little bit off on my hand first. I'm just going to go along that cheekbone and a little bit right on this apple. Okay, for highlight, I'm going to use the Master Chrome by Maybelline. I like this one for this look because it, because it is a little bit more peachy. I feel like that will match with the copper eye really nicely. So what I like to do when applying highlight is just go in like big circular motions like this because Otherwise, you're just going to get a stripe that doesn't look blended. So you want to still put it in this area, but you want to kind of go in circular motions like this to really diffuse and blend it out so it doesn't look like you have a straight line of highlight. So adding that highlight into the inner tear duct to just brighten everything a little bit okay you guys so for lips I went in with the Huda Beauty lip contour in trendsetter and the Bobbi Brown lipstick in number nine Italian Rose it's just a beautiful nude lip combo and here is the finished look I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I hope it was easy to follow. Let me know down in the comments below if it was or wasn't. That way I can better improve my videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. But let me add another thing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because apparently notifications are not being sent out when people are uploading videos, which sucks. So don't forget to hit the bell so you know when my videos are uploaded and live. And with all that, I hope to see all of you guys in the next video. Bye!